Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. We're going to do a handgun showdown today. We are featuring Ruger versus Smith & Wesson. I put a poll out on my community tab, reached out to you guys and asked, which companies do you feel would best match up with a handgun showdown? And the feedback that I got by a large margin was Ruger versus Smith & Wesson. So we're doing that today. But before we get into that, I want to talk about the last handgun showdown where Ruger went up against Glock. Now that was pretty competitive, but Ruger won by a good margin. I would I would say 65% of the people voted for Ruger, and the reason being is that Ruger offers a lot of handgun models. You look at, you know, their, their semi-autos, their revolvers, their 22s. You know, they just offer so much more than Glock does, and people noted that. They said, you know, if I want a revolver, I'm getting a Ruger. So that's what happened. Ruger won. Glock, great guns, just a smaller selection, and, and the people of this channel voted for Ruger. But now we've got Smith & Wesson here, and now they, they make the 1911s. They make the revolvers. They have uh, excellent semi-autos, and, and we're going to feature these today. Let's get into it and see how it goes. Let's start with Ruger. Here we have the American Compact. Comes with a 12 round magazine. Nice trigger pull. All ambidextrous controls. Various grip moldings that you can switch out to fit your, your hand size. No back sights. Front rail. Has everything that you want in a semi-auto handgun. It, it fires excellent at the range. You just fall in love with the gun and this is a worthy choice. No question about that. And Ruger has some great 1911s. Here's the officer model 1911 or SR 1911 with G10 grips. Comes with a single stack seven round magazine. Of course, you love that single action trigger pull. Just keeps you on target. Very nice with a 3.6 inch barrel. And over here on the budget side of things, we've got the Security 9, when Ruger introduced this, they did a great job with the Security 9. All the technology from the LCP2 packed into this larger model with a 4-inch barrel. It does have 15-round magazine. It's actually a hammer-fired gun. And right there, nice trigger pull. Right around 300 bucks will get you the Security 9, and Ruger did a great job with that. Now, if we think about the revolvers they offer, the LCR a whole line of revolvers you look at the sp 101 just a tank of a revolver and then the overbuilt gp 100s and, and so on they have so many handguns to to mention i couldn't i couldn't even do it here but they have a large line and a huge fan base as well not to be outdone smith and wesson has their m p line of semi-auto handguns that people rave about both civilians and law enforcement use this you know very popular duty gun as well now here we have the m p 9 2.0 compact and it does come with three 15 round magazines they use a hinged trigger okay right there and people have their thoughts about that but the one thing that this gun the m p line in particular offers is aftermarket support a lot of triggers you can change out different trigger springs you can change out and suit it to your liking so smith has the advantage there very aggressive grip texturing okay does have a rail okay regular three dot sights this one here does have a four inch barrel so they took the m p the original and made it better with the 2.0 models and it's getting very nice reviews now what can we say about the shield other than a lot of people carry it it's a small small nine millimeter handgun subcompact it's not a single stack it's a staggered stack holds seven rounds includes another mag that holds eight rounds and, and i like those those options as well once again a hinged trigger that performs well you know a lot of people carry these and if we consider the budget side of things smith and wesson offers the sd9 ve that that gun is very popular there are so many people that says this sd9 ve offers everything that a glock does at a lower price and it's hard to argue against that because the gun just functions it works well it, it feels nice it's got uh, excellent shooting impressions and so forth uh, it triggers a bit heavy but it's a nice package altogether now let's look at their revolvers they've got the j frames the k frames the l frames and the n frames all different uh different types of chamberings they are rock solid and people swear by the smith and western revolver so we look at the company as a whole they have very nice guns and they do compete well 
in far, as far as variety goes with Ruger. As always, the question for you is, which of these companies make a better all-around handgun? Is it Ruger or is it Smith & Wesson? I look forward to your feedback, and I will tally them up and report the results with the next Handgun Showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.